Hi viewers and welcome back to another Bestie video. Experts recommend working out 45 minutes to an hour a day for weight loss and fitness. But with our busy lives being so busy, not everyone has 30 to 60 minutes to devote to workouts. If you think that short bursts of activity won't help, think again. One study found that participants who split their exercise into 10-minute increments were more likely to exercise consistently and lost more weight after five months than those who exercised for 20 to 40 minutes at a time. And in today's video, we'll tell you the simplest ways to get in more exercise when you're short on time. From being more efficient at the gym, changing your commute, investing in a standing desk, recruiting a friend to competing with yourself and more. Watch till the end to learn about all of them. Number one, plan out your gym time. The first solution is intentionally writing physical activity into your routine. If you don't deliberately plan a time to work out, your workout session will get pushed. Before you know it, it's been a month since you've seen the gym. Planning when you go to the gym also means you can go during off hours when the facility is mostly empty. Going early in the morning, in the middle of the day, or late at night means the machines and weights you want will be available. Visiting when the gym is least crowded will allow you to get through your workout as quickly as possible and reduce your time away from other responsibilities. What time do you prefer going to the gym? Tell us quickly down below in the comments section. Number two, be efficient at the gym. If you're short on time, you can do certain exercises to work multiple muscle groups at once and torch as many calories as possible. Compound exercises hit multiple muscle groups and two or more joints at once. These moves require more energy from more muscles, which helps burn more calories in less time while increasing overall muscle mass. These exercises can be one fluid motion that works multiple muscles simultaneously like lunges or a combination of two moves, such as squats with an overhead press. To maximize your limited time at the gym, try to make around 70 to 80% of your workout compound moves. Fill in the rest of the time with isolation exercises for any muscles you wanna target. Number three, opt for the stairs instead of the elevator. Obviously, if you're headed to the 40th floor, this isn't feasible. But if your office is on the third floor, take the stairs instead of the elevator. If you include going to and from work, to and from lunch, and to and from your car because you forgot your phone, that's 12 to 18 flights of stairs right there. If you live on the third floor, taking the stairs, even with a handful of groceries, laundry, or packages, is within reason. Plus, then you don't have to share an awkward conversation with that one neighbor. We all have that one neighbor. Number four, pack your shower gear. If you exercise before work, showering after your workout is a must. You don't wanna roll into the office smelling like a laundry basket. If you exercise after work, you'll be tempted to skip the shower and head straight home. This is a mistake if you're looking to maximize time. By showering at the gym, you'll be in and out much faster than if you showered at home. Number five, invest in a standing desk. If you've got a job where you're on your feet consistently, this doesn't necessarily apply to you. But if you're like me and you rock the nine to five cubicle life, you probably sit for way too much of the day. Enter the standing desk. Standing desks are exactly what they sound like. They're available in all different colors, shapes, and sizes like any piece of furniture. And most times they have built-in hydraulics to make raising and lowering the desk easy. While not a great method for burning calories per se, a standing desk will greatly improve your posture and strengthen your stabilizer muscles. This helps facilitate stronger, safer workouts and promotes recovery. Number six, change your commute. Instead of taking a car, you can walk, run, or cycle to work, but not everyone is able to do that. Whether you're driving or catching public transport, now is a good time to do some ab work. Don't worry, you don't have to bust out sit-ups on the floor of the train. While you're sitting, simply brace your abs as hard as you can for 10 seconds. You can make this quite tough with a very strong muscle contraction. Do this five to 10 times. Number seven, join a gym virtually. Whether you're wondering how to exercise while working from home or how to get a workout in without leaving the house so you can watch the kids, a virtual gym membership might be your solution. Joining a gym virtually will allow you to take a fitness class online and take advantage of other gym amenities, such as a personal trainer, without figuring out who will stay home with your kids. You can also work out at any time of the day at your own pace. You will enjoy live and on-demand workout classes and even participate in community events with like-minded fitness folks. With many people stuck indoors due to COVID-19, more gyms have begun offering virtual memberships. This means it shouldn't be hard for you to find a virtual membership program that suits your needs. Number eight, recruit a friend. When you have time to see a friend or go to the gym but not both, socialize while you move. Instead of drinks, suggest window shopping. Research suggests that exercising with friends makes you work out harder and longer, so you might end up getting a better workout than you would have on your own. 
Number 9. Try Short Burst HIIT Workouts You may not have a full hour to devote to exercise, but you can still get a lot of quality work in. Good exercises include lunges, walking, jump roping, and sprinting. Since they're short, there's no need to hold back. You can make them as intense as possible. We exercise to keep active, but there's no point in pushing our bodies to the limit for an hour and then lazing around for the rest of the day. Whether you're watching TV or simply enjoying a few free moments, think about ways to move and stay fit in that time frame. Number 10. Wake up 20 minutes earlier Have your exercise clothes ready the night before, set your alarm and head outside for some sprints. Uphill if you can. Warm up for 3 minutes with some brisk walking, then sprint all out for 20 seconds, then rest for 2 minutes. Repeat for 5 to 8 sprints, then walk home. This session doesn't take long. It will wake you up and energize you for the morning, and it's a great way to burn fat and boost your metabolism. Getting enough sleep is one of the best ways to stay healthy and fit. Learn how you can get better sleep by watching 6 Best Foods That Will Help You Sleep Better Instantly. Now back to easy ways to get in more exercise when you don't have any time. Number 11. Cut the cord and screen we like to think of ourselves as busy, but we spend plenty of time throughout the day distracted by useless events. Screens, whether television, mobile phones, or the internet, are some of the biggest time wasters of all. Think about all the times when you read something interesting on the internet, which led to a Google search or a click to another interesting page, which continues until you wonder what happened for the last five hours. Try to cut TV and internet out of your life. Don't watch a show just because you have nothing better to do. That is valuable exercise time. Number 12. Sign up for a fitness class If you're struggling with how to add exercise into a busy schedule, consider taking a fitness class. With a definite start and end time, it's easy to plan the rest of your day around it. The accountability that comes with choosing a set time to work out will also keep you motivated to actually go to the gym. Fitness classes can also be fun. Try a new type of exercise or yoga like spinning, which will keep you from getting bored with your routine. Get a few of your friends to sign up for the class with you to make it something to look forward to each week. Number 13. Compete with yourself Setting goals is a great way to motivate yourself to work out no matter how busy you get. Come up with some concrete fitness goals, such as improving your mile time or bench pressing a certain amount of weight, and a realistic plan for achieving them. For some added motivation, decide on a reward like a nice new pair of jeans you can enjoy once you've accomplished one of your goals. Be sure to track your activity levels and measure your progress to keep yourself on the right path. Using a fitness journal is a good way to help yourself recognize when you're sticking with healthy habits and when you need to make some adjustments. By closely monitoring your activity levels, you'll reach your fitness goals in no time. Along with exercising, you should eat nutritious foods to stay healthy. Learn more about such foods by watching 11 Healthy Foods Men Should Eat Every Day or 14 Healthy Foods Women Should Eat Every Day. So go ahead and watch one or both of these videos for maximum benefits. How often do you exercise in a week? Let us know in the comments section below.